Hey, thanks for tuning in. Uh, you know, you can subscribe to this channel and get any time I make a video, it'll come to you. And it'll help me because it lets me know who's watching and when you're watching. Uh, I want to talk for a few minutes today about this phenomenon going on around us where people say such nasty things and get angry so quickly over almost nothing. In fact, we've got people now that are adopting a, a political process that involves um, offense. Let me offend you and let me do it in such a way that you respond quickly so we end up with angry words being spoken and it seems like with social media and the advent of uh, 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 Instagram and Facebook and all these things that not only are we getting offended, but we get offended in such a way that we speak quickly without thought and speak ugly words that in the past at least we would not have said because we knew they came with consequences. I, I was laughing at myself thinking about uh, the old Western movie where one guy's in the saloon and the other guy comes up and jostles him and then they speak a little insult and then they go outside in the street and shoot it out. Uh, now, instead of shooting it out, we just blast off another Facebook post or, or Twitter uh, a statement and, and then later we don't even seem to be shocked, but our culture is in the midst of this violent and rapid increase of offense. So I want to take a minute. God was speaking to me about this. This is out of Proverbs. Maybe you read Proverbs. Maybe you don't. Uh, but here it is. This is in chapter 12 in Proverbs, verse 16. The vexation of a fool is known at once. Okay. Uh, all that means is, is one of the ways you can mark who a fool is is that as soon as they feel or perceive the slightest insult, they're vexed and everybody knows it because they explode. They explode on Facebook. And, and then, not only that, but, but vexation looks for friends. Do you know that? Uh, uh, people, when they get angry, the first thing they're going to do is go tell all of their friends and recruit their friends to be angry with them. And then the other party, the other offended party or angry party, will go recruit all of their friends to be angry also. So you end up, uh, vexation doesn't seem to live by itself ever. It, it wants some friends to have fun with because if you're vexed and you're angry, there's kind of a soul enjoyment in that whole thing. It's like sort of looking at your own horror movie and you're vexed and you're angry and you're up, upset and you're insulted and you go talk to five of your friends, you buy them a beer, you talk to them, them about how horrible that person was and can anybody believe that he, she, or it did that? But there you go. So this says the vexation of a fool is known at once, but the prudent ignores an insult. Can you believe that? Is that counter-cultural or what? That the prudent ignores an insult. I, I saw my father, uh, who was a, a marvelous country lawyer, over and over again, in the middle of situations that could, he could easily take offense at. He would just ignore it and go on, and he would put it, all, he would put it down as charity. That is, have grace, just... Just that could be you next year. Have grace. Just pass it off, slough it off, uh, brush it off, and go on. And as a consequence, I never saw him act out of an immediate irritation. In fact, when I started practicing law with him, he had a rule. He said, now, if anybody ever makes you mad, write a letter right then. And then put it in your desk drawer for three days. At the end of three days, pull the letter back out. And if you still think it's wise to send the letter, go ahead and send it. But don't ever send a letter when you're upset. And nowadays, don't 
ever post anything when you're upset. So, so let's talk about this a minute because the other thing that's going on is there are professional upsetters now. So we've got folks out there on all ranges of the spectrum from liberal to conservative to agnostic, you name it, every kind and shade of person. And what they're doing is they're collecting stuff, information and posting from other people and then they'll pass it along to all their friends and say, look at this. We should all, we need to be angry about this. And they're posting things into your Facebook or into your Twitter feed to make your soul vexed. Listen, you know what to do about all that stuff? Cut off their feed. Don't let people vex you or constantly post things to your account, to your Facebook or your Twitter to upset you and make you angry along with them. Remember, vexation uh, is always looking for friends. That sounds terrible, but it's the truth. You could, you could make an ad campaign. Vexation wants you. Vexation is looking for you. Where are you? I called, but you didn't answer. I wanted you to be angry, upset, offended with me, but you weren't. Where have you been? And don't you care? Don't you want justice or don't you want to have this thing? Let's all just take umbrage. That's a great old word, isn't it? Let's all just take umbrage. Umbrage, umbrage means, that's what umbrage means. Like, who, 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 who's that? But this world uh, is populated with a lot of fools. I'm sorry. I, I didn't say that now. That, that was the scripture. And you can tell them because they're, because they're vexed and they're, everybody knows. So if you're the guy or the gal on Facebook that's passing along all this vexation, stop it, will you? Uh, I don't want to have to cut off your Facebook feed. Stop it. Uh, pass on something. And if you want to do it, something like that, why don't you put it in the drawer? <laughs> Remember Robert Cotton's rule? Put it in the drawer first. And, and then maybe we can at least make our own world a little bit better. See, you're responsible for your own world. Uh, nobody else is. So I have to guard my eye gate. I have to guard my ear gate. And I have to guard the words of my mouth uh, because I'm responsible for those words and I'm going to have to answer for my irresponsible, callous, angry words. I've got a long list that I've got to answer for. And you might have a list, you may not. Uh, you may be that rare exception that's got a full bridle on your tongue, but I've got things I've got to answer for. And I don't want to add to my list. And I don't want things pouring into me from angry people. Uh, there, there's no gain in that. And I don't find Jesus living there. He had a righteous anger. He drove out the money lenders. Uh, he had a righteous anger against the, the religious people that should have known better and who were oppressing the poor and the weak. He had an anger about those things, but, but uh, about ordinary life, no. He was the guy that embraced and did not reject. That includes letting Judas in at the Last Supper. How about that? A whole lot to think about there. Well, listen, I love you. Subscribe down there and go look at your Facebook and think about what are you saying? What are you passing on? Uh, I pray about this stuff and I hope you do. What are you passing on to people around you? Uh, find something good to say. Get in the Word. Find something good to say. Post it. Post something sweet. Post something consoling from the Holy Spirit. What if we all posted something about consolation for the next 30 days? I wonder what would happen in our immediate environs. Well, listen. Uh, bless you. Have a good day. I love you.